Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be talking about this time is um, this little talk called The Future of E-Commerce is Not Evenly Distributed. Um, and we're specifically talking about mobile e-commerce. Um, now, the inspiration for this uh, talk and for this quote is uh, William Gibson, who's the guy who uh, coined the term cyberspace. Um, and he said the future's already here, so it's not even distributed. Now, this means a bunch of really deep things. I'm going to go through the shallower meanings. But um, what I've been thinking is, well, I skipped the slide too. Uh, Gibson used to write really hardcore sci-fi. Um, he is now at the point where things these days are so cool that he just writes modern thrillers. Um, in his eyes, the future has essentially caught up with us. And that's a lot of what's going on with mobile e-commerce. We have these pieces floating around, the camera, the Excel router, et cetera, et cetera, um, that are being put together in some really cool ways, and actually aren't being put together in some really cool ways that we could see our way to now. So I want to talk about some of those, um, some from each category. So for instance, this is one of the ones that's, that is happening. Um, Express is putting uh, QR codes right on their catalogs, so you can see promotional videos. Um, Tesco is actually piloting a project, or was briefly piloting a project in South Korea, where you can scan QR codes and have the items delivered directly to your house. And this particular one is in a subway station. So this is an example of something that someone is doing right now. Um, it's a little futuristic, uh, and it could be much more widespread very quickly. It really takes the different parts, different capabilities of, of the mobile aspects of e-commerce and puts them together in new ways. This is an idea we pitched for a customer um, that may or may not go anywhere. Um, the ability to see a, a picture, a book, a movie that your friend has, scan the barcode and just have it delivered to your house. And I mean, Amazon could be doing that tomorrow, probably not. Um, another thing that could be happening is people creating wedding registries. Many of you may be familiar with this uh, tool of implementing torture. Um, this could just as easily be done with your cell phone. Um, using QR codes that are already existing technology. Um, Meyer is actually piloting this project where you can download an app, search for a product, and find it in the store that you're in. Um, get directions right to that item. Um, and then this is another new idea. Uh, I don't know anything about Sylvie's Day Spa, so I apologize if their service is not acceptable. But um, there really is the capability now, or will be in the next few months, for Sylvie's Day Spa to send out a little alert to the nearby users of their app to say, hey, we have an opening that came up. Um, you're two blocks away, you want them. Uh, Best Buy is already using QR codes to allow people to read reviews in store by scanning that. Uh, the next step could be, show me reviews from my Facebook friends. Now, this is Photoshop, this isn't happening, but really, all the capabilities are there. And that would lend a lot more credence to those reviews because you'd be able to of, of people that you know personally, um, assuming that you're using the tight, more tightly uh, connected community there. Iolier is another thing that's sort of on the bleeding edge that's just coming out. Uh, it is an app that uh, a store can implement and you can actually check out from your phone in the store. Uh, this is another new idea that's taking two existing ideas, three existing ideas and putting them together. Um, Check-in apps are already out there. This color app allows people to share um, pictures at a venue. Mix that with Groupon and location services, and you can actually have an app that does um, collective discounts for people that are physically in your store. If we hit 10 people that express interest, we'll give you 10% off of this item. Um, Yelp's monocle is already showing us um, some of the cooler capabilities of augmented reality. Um, we had some neat ideas when we were sitting around brainstorming one day at work. Um, the, uh, this is an app that we proposed for a, a potential customer where you could actually take a picture of your living room or just hold up your phone and look at, at uh, products and see what they would look like hanging right on your wall. Um, and we were really excited about pitching that until we realized that actually that Panasonic had beaten us to it. And you can watch or look at their TVs and see how they would fit right in your so uh, these ideas are all there, or they're right about to be there. Um, they're things that we could pretty easily implement, or anyone could pretty easily implement. Um, you know, it is easier to see a future, the future by buying a Gibson book. 
but I think that uh, a lot of these e-commerce ideas are pretty accessible and within reach. Thank you.